So this will just be a quick tutorial on getting the Borland C, C++ compiler installed and set up. So the first thing that you will want to do is go and grab that off of Borland's website. And you can just Google Borland compiler. And the first link uh, should be what you want. Offer it to you free, and you'll want uh, this link right here, Borland C++ compiler. And they offer it to you free, but uh, they want you to uh, register with them real quick. Uh, it just takes a second. you've done that, they offer you a download link, and they want you to agree to the licensing agreement they have. Uh, and you can just save that to your desktop. Uh, it's going to be uh, this file right here. It's going to be free command line tools.exe. Uh, I've already got that installed, so we don't have to wait for that. Uh, and so that'll give you this guy right here. And so you can just double click and run. And he's going to install all this stuff uh, uh, in this folder here, and that's that's pretty standard. It's not too big a deal. Uh, say yes. You know, tax everything. Okay. Thing looks peachy, and so now we can go and look at the folder he created. Um, and so you'll notice in uh, the bin folder they actually have, uh, here's the actual compiler file right here, BCC32. Uh, um, but if you look in the readme, you will find that they want you to um, create two files. Uh, bcc32 config file and uh, ilink32 uh, config um, and they want you to add in uh, these lines right here uh, and that just tells the compiler where to look for uh, library files and things like that uh, so we'll do that real quick config, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And they want these lines here. So we'll just copy. And we'll paste those lines in. file that they wanted was ilink32.config and in there they wanted uh, just this one line. Uh, so if you want to use different library directories, uh, you would change these to suit whatever uh, structure you're using or wherever you're putting these. So we'll just save that. Uh, and we'll also want to add the path to this bin folder to your uh, path environment variable. So we'll just go and do that real quick. Just start and click my computer properties, advanced environment variables, environment variable, and take whatever's there, tack on a semicolon, and 
paste in the path to that uh, bin folder. Uh, so this will let us run the compiler from uh, the command line. We'll hit OK. And now, if all goes correctly, we should be able to uh, start up the command line and we should be able to uh, run the compiler, which is just BCC32. Uh, Alright, and so it gave us uh, the syntax of all that, and all the switches, so we know he's finding him correctly. Uh, so now we can go and we can uh, try that real quick. So we'll just start up Emacs. So now we've got a, a shell down here on the bottom, and we'll just go and create uh, a quick little uh, C file. And we'll save that. And now we can go down to the shell window here, and we should be able to say BCC32 uh, hello world dot C. Okay, and so now he gives us an error that says you cannot uh, uh, find std uh, standard io dot h. Uh, so this is probably due to having set uh, those two uh, files incorrectly. So let's go back real quick and just look to see if we've got those files in the right spot. We can just check in that readme folder. From the bin directory, okay, so from the bin directory, those files that we need created need to go into the um, bin directory. So let's just go and put these guys and put them into the bin directory and now when we go and try to compile uh, he compiles just fine so now we can run him and we get our hello world and that's about it let me know if you have any questions